Hello everyone, this is Prasad Reddy. This is my first video on YouTube channel regarding SAP BTP. In this video, I will going to demonstrate you how to create your SAP BTP file account, how to create your sub account, how to enable Cloud Foundry, how to create a SAP HANA cloud in the space, and how to create an instance and how to add uh, service plans to your sub account. Everything will look into this video. So I have already opened the website SAP BTP cockpit. So you can scroll down, see there is an option register. You can simply register over here for the new account. Yes, you need a valid email address and valid phone number. You will get an SAP account over here. See. Just an email address, name, region, phone number. I can you submit over there. You can. I have already created my SAP BTP trial account, so I am just logging in. I am just signing or I am just signing into my BTP trial account. The password is Yeah, see over there. Now I'm getting a trial home. See, it's the uh, welcome to SAP BTP trial, and now you're going to your trial account. See, this is my trial account. Initially, SAP by default it will give one sub account that is under the name file and the provider is amazon web service and the region is us and now you are going to create one sub account to this global account so create see there is option sub account you'll create a sub account by giving the name uh, enter the name prasad region For the trial account, there will be only two providers that is Amazon Web Service and Microsoft Azure. So I am going to be Amazon Web Service and subdomain it will automatically created and the parent also. So click on the option create. My sub account is creating. It will take just a few minutes. See, my sub account has been created. Click on the sub account. See, there you go. See, the tenant ID, sub account ID, who is the provider, region, environment, created on, create, modified on, everything is there. Now, what you need to do is you need to enable Cloud Foundry. If you scroll down a little bit, see, there will be option enable Cloud Foundry and click on that. See, plan is standard and the instance name is this one and the org name is nothing but organization name. So you need to create over here. Now your Cloud Foundry environment has been created. See, API endpoint. This is the API endpoint and this is the organization name and this is the organization ID. see now now you're going to create a space in cloud foundry see in the right you have an option create space click on that now you, you have to give your space name i'm um, giving space name as btp and assign the roles everything space developer space supporter space manager space auditor everything i'm assigning the roles 
see my space have been created successfully now in the left hand side in the cloud foundry tab you will have a spaces tab click on that see you can see btp space has been created now what you need to do is you need to add an instance or create an instance to the sub account so in the left hand side you can see instances and subscription tab click on that see there are no subscriptions you are subscribed or no instance you have been created so in order to that in the right hand side you can see an option create click on that now i am going to add a business application studio to the to my sub account so select service see uh, there is no business application studio over here so what you need to do is when you don't have a service in your sub account you need to go to your global account you need to go to your global account and in global account you can see entitlements tab and in entitlements tab you can see entity assignments click on that now you need to select the entities for which sub account for trial or prasad i am selecting the prasad sub account and you have to select see you need to configure entitlements so i am clicking on that after that you need to add service plan to your sub account so i am adding service plan uh, you can type here sap business application studio so there see for the trial version it's available business application studio and you can add one service plan over here after that you need to save over here otherwise again it will be not reflected in your sub account so you need to save over here it will take just few seconds it has been created now go to your sub account see go to your sub account now go to instances and subscription tab now you can create an instance or subscription to here see now business application studio will reflect over here see sap business application studio plan is a trial version you can create see in the uh, the application has been created and then the status is under processing it will take just a few minutes see at the, the business application studio has been subscribed and you can directly go to the application so in the right hand side there is an option go to the application you can click on that see from here you can create everything the dev space you can create a fury app you can create what not everything over here okay we'll come back to this later okay okay fine now you go now you need to go to your cloud foundry tab and go to the spaces tab in spaces tab click on the btp space now go to in the left hand side sap hana cloud click on that see no entitlements have been added yet so the same problem occurs again so on in what you need to do go to global account go to your global account and click on the entity assignments tab you need to select entities that is prasad your sub account after that you need to configure entitlements 
we need to add service plans so type over your sap ana see sap ana cloud is there and it is available for tools ana cloud connection ana memory database everything is uh, available for trial version and i am adding three service plans over here after adding you need to save over here will take just a few minutes see it has been done now you need to go to your sub account that is prasad go to instances and subscription tab now there is an option called create now you are going to create select service sap hana cloud the plan hana cloud connect you can you can give anything you can give for the hana the runtime environment is cloud foundry space is btp and the instance name you can give anything instance name i am giving sap underscore btp this is the json format file you need to give it yeah now go to your cloud foundry tab under cloud foundry go to the spaces tab see and the spaces tab go to the btp space and sap hana cloud click on that now you are going to create sap hana database over here you need to give your email id and phone number see it has been still what type of database you want whether it's for hana hana database or hana cloud or data lake i'm clicking on hana cloud sap hana database the next step it is you know about hana database right it is a in memory database it is suitable for both a olap and oltp and associated with data lake instance everything next step see by default sap will give for memory of 30 30 gb and compute two v cpus and storage up to 120 gb for trial version so organization name this is and this is the space name and now you can create a instance name i am giving sap underscore ptp now you need to enter your passwords administrator is db admin and administrator party now you need to give your administrator password it match all the criteria now after that you can simply click the button create now see now you can create an instance
now the instance has been creating it will take just a few minutes so, so from here you can you can go to the hana cockpit Username is nothing but what DBA admin, DBA admin, sorry. Password is what you have mentioned. Just give me a few minutes. It's loading. Yeah. See, from here you can manage everything. You can monitor. You can check the uh, whether all services are running or not. You can you can see uh, alert notifications over here. You can see the memory uses and the resident memory and the used memory. You can see the disk uses. You can see CPU usage. And you can monitor performance, monitor table usage, everything you can manage from here. Okay. Uh, again, we'll come back to this later. So, what do your sub account? Go to the instances and subscription tab. See, the instances have been created SAP HANA Cloud and the application SAP Business Application Studio have been subscribed. Isn't it? Wow. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts regarding this video, you can post me in the comment section so that we can discuss over there and thank you once again.